Happy New Year, people of Cheerio, Quaggan Lord here, and what a new year it is. Uh, literally this morning, within the first two minutes of logging in, I got a precursor from the forge. I got Dawn, the precursor for the legendary greatsword Sunrise. Um, yeah, you can scream and call me a bastard. I still can't believe it happened myself. Uh, my luck is absolutely crazy when it comes to this Mystic Forge. Um, so basically, the whole thing behind it was I logged in. I checked the uh, dailies and Daily Mystic Forge was there. I threw a couple of exotics I had left over from a PvP reward track in there and out come Dawn. Um, I've already got Eternity so I don't know what I'm going to do with this precursor. If I'm going to sell it or keep it or, or make Sunrise again and do something with that, I don't know. But moving forward with the video, uh, today's video is about map completion. I had a question in my last video uh, in the comments about uh, if I had any tips about map completion. Um, yeah, I could give a few tips. I've done it eight times, so I have a little bit of experience in it now. Um, basically, a uh, couple of things I would recommend doing is don't burn yourself out. Take your time doing map completion. It's not a race. Um, do one or two maps a day maximum. Uh, if you want to push it further, go for it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to play, but it can be very boring doing map completion and isolating from the rest of the game. So. Uh, I just say take your time doing it. Also, I recommend doing it with a friend as well, especially if you have Skype or TeamSpeak. Uh, it can really break it up and you can have a lot more fun sharing that experience. Um, when it comes to doing hearts, look for little uh, events that are happening around the heart. It can usually speed it up quite dramatically. Um, just doing those little events and side quests. And you get extra karma as well, so that's a bonus as well, things that you need. Um, when it comes to doing world versus world map completion, uh, I recommend starting that as soon as possible, especially if you're going for um, that gift of uh, exploration. Uh, only due to if you're not a world versus worlder, that can be quite um, daunting jumping into world versus world the first time. If it is your first time in world versus world, stick to the commander, um, try getting to team speak with them, it will make things go a lot smoother. Uh, if you can, if you've got the extra gold or the badges of honor, I would look at getting some uh, PTV armor. Uh, that's power toughness vitality. that will help you stay alive in that zerg and maybe look up on the internet a couple of meta builds for world versus world zerging. Uh, it will help you in the long run, especially if you're just there to get uh, map completion. Um, and you never know, you might fall in love with world versus world as well. Um, Check out websites like MOS Millennium, uh, it is really, really good and there's also some other in-game apps that you can use as well. But it will let you know where your server's at, uh, what different things that you own, what camps, what keeps, what uh, towers. And you can um, track if there's something, if maybe your server has just taken the garrison of uh, the red side. You can run in there and get that uh, vistas and point of interest uh, quite easily without wasting any of your time so it's a really good thing to do as well um, as you're doing map completion uh, again harvest everything uh, grab every node harvest every tree that's all gold uh, that you can put towards making a legendary so uh, all I do is all I can say is try have fun while doing it like everything else and take care and I will see you guys again tomorrow catch you later bye